In the fall of 1967, we admitted our first class of 25 students. Well, that was 50 years ago. At that time, the concept of the associate degree nurse was very new. We had a shortage of nurses in Memphis, and so the State Board of Regents felt that it was appropriate to place the associate degree nursing program here at the university. We had to develop a curriculum. We had to select clinical sites. We had to prepare lectures, and we had to write clinical objectives and plan clinical experiences. So we pretty much just stayed one day ahead of the students for the first two years of the program. I was the first dean. I was recruited for the purpose of developing uh, a generic program that is a program that all students could come into. The approval by the Tennessee Board of Nursing and the internal approval and then ultimately the accreditation by the National League for Nursing at that time. And uh, we passed all of those. My father, who was somewhat of a visionary, picked nursing and he thought that would be uh, a really good thing to do for the community, and it turned out to be great. The Lowenberg family, Mr. Lowenberg, we didn't ask him, he asked us, and that, that was amazing. And he told me at one time that he thought that nurses were the most important part of health care, the most important segment. That was the beginning. And subsequently, we named the School of Nursing, now College of Nursing, the Lowenberg College of Nursing. I came to the University of Memphis in 1988. At that time, there was only uh, R in the BSN program, but the basic BSN program had been uh, approved by the state board. The real story behind our master's program uh, was really our students and faculty. The reason that the Tennessee Higher Education Commission approved it had to do with a contextual kind of problem. 50% of faculty in the state of Tennessee were predicted to retire within five years. And they sent it to all the decision makers in Tennessee. And it got everyone's immediate attention. And so a master's program that we had wanted for some period of time instantly got put on the fast track. When we first came, we were in, you know, only had like one class of like 20 something students. And I think when I left, we had like thousand students. The high quality of academic program uh, can be really uh, recognized, the evidence by our nationally ranked the R2 BSN and the MSN program. The R and the BSN program along with the college is in support of the Institute of Medicine's recommendation that 80% of RNs have a BSN by the year of 2020. It's the future of nursing because we want patients to have the best outcomes they can have when they get into the hospital. And so that higher degree prepares you to be able to render the care that's necessary to get the patients to their best optimal level of health. I had come into the program as a diploma nurse uh, seeking my baccalaureate. They encouraged me always with a caution about not taking too much because people were invested in my success as much, I think, as I was invested in my success. I've learned that anytime I come into contact with a patient, um, that's likely the worst day of the patient's life. And so I've learned that I've, my job is to basically do whatever I can to make that experience the best it can be for that patient. Oh, I think we have one of the leading executive nursing programs, possibly in the entire nation. The end result is a professional who is well versed in all the aspects of patient care, business, and policy, and that person can go back to the organization and make a significant impact. Our ARM program is accessible, affordable, flexible, and high quality. And also, we extend our program to Jackson Nambus campus. We have seen a great program come to Jackson. I'm so excited for the quality of the student that we've seen out of the University of Memphis. Jackson would not be the same without the nursing program from University of Memphis coming to Jackson and providing that high quality education that this community needed particularly from a state institution that we lacked in so many ways in Jackson. 
Life before the community health building was a nightmare. We were literally on every corner of campus before coming to the community health building. There was no sense of place for our faculty and the student, as well as our community partners. I was actually in the planning of this building, how many rooms we would need, how many offices. We made trips to look at different buildings so that we could incorporate some of those designs. When they first approached us about helping and if we would do a lead gift to let the community know that we were serious about having this new building. So July 2015, we move into a, the new six million dollars state of art and the community health building. After we got this building, that was just glorious because we're all here, it's our own community, we're all in one place. Well, we are so thrilled that it's such a beautiful and, and useful building. One of the great things is knowing that they will all get terrific jobs and they'll be helping people. There is a culture of excellence that pervades this institution uh, and uh, I feel that that culture of excellence has survived as we know for 50 years. In the same year, uh, the school actually was elevated to the college status. So we now very proudly call the Nuremberg College of Nursing. So if we strategically and position ourselves like a college, and we can continue to advance to meet the needs of the community. I find it difficult to conceive of the oak that has grown from the acorn that I helped to plant 50 years ago. Three to five words that I can think of that describes the nursing profession is ethical, compassion, cutting edge, advocacy, autonomous, diverse, fulfilling, challenging, yes. a very caring profession. Meeting the need and making a difference. To me, that's what nursing is about.